Hello everyone, I'm Tanya Rivero. Thank you for joining us. The livelihoods of millions of Americans hang in the balance as they wait to see whether President Trump and Congress will resume talks on renewing COVID-19 relief benefits. Mr. Trump abruptly told his negotiators to cut off talks yesterday afternoon, but after facing bipartisan backlash, the president backtracked a bit just hours later. He laid out issues he would support in a new bill, such as money for businesses and a new round of $1,200 stimulus checks. The country's top economists, including Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell, warn the U.S. needs a large stimulus package to help with the economic recovery. Americans out of work because of the pandemic will be the hardest hit without a stimulus bill. At least 26 million people in the U.S. are seeking unemployment benefits. Many will have their income cut in half if the benefits are not renewed. CBS News Chief Congressional Correspondent Nancy Cordes runs us through how the talks broke down. It all started Tuesday afternoon when the president abruptly tweeted, I have instructed my representatives to stop negotiating until after the election, when immediately after I win, we will pass a major stimulus bill. That means that Americans, at least for now, will not be getting another round of $1,200 stimulus checks, just a few hours before the president's announcement, the Federal Reserve chair was making the case for more rescue funding now. Too little support would lead to a weak recovery, creating unnecessary hardship for households and businesses. Confusingly, the president tweeted that he agreed with Powell after he had shut down the talks. His decision sent the Dow plunging almost 600 points and drew fire from the airlines, the Chamber of Commerce and even some Republicans. Amid the backlash, the president took to Twitter again in the evening, saying Congress should approve $25 billion in funds for airline workers and $135 billion for small businesses, as well as those $1,200 stimulus checks. Speaker Pelosi called the president's move to end the talks an act of desperation. And in a phone call with fellow Democrats, she speculated that the steroids he is on for COVID may be impacting his thinking. One person who did agree with the president, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, who said the two sides were still pretty far apart and unlikely to reach a deal before Election Day anyway. But other Republicans worried that by walking away, the president would get the lion's share of the blame and that that could affect the entire party. Nancy Cordes, CBS News, Capitol Hill. The coronavirus outbreak within the White House is growing after another top official tested